Good morning, beautiful people. This is Jason Shades, and we've got some more good music for you today. Now, this one was sent uh, to me in the in the uh, comments. It told me that if I'm a Hunter S. Thompson fan, I really needed to check this uh, Chris Webby out. Drugs in the drugs in a suitcase. Okay, I love Hunter S. Thompson, and I know this movie that he's that they're doing a down and out. Well, what was it? Uh, but anyways, yeah, this was a good book. Is the book was originally down and out in Las Vegas. Um, I can't remember the damn movie. Um, but yeah, this should be good, absolutely. And we're gonna do a quick PSA again. Uh, like I said, every day I'm gonna mention this on October 31st uh, of this year. We're gonna at 12 o'clock noon. Just want to put it together that everybody. Uh, for one minute, send energy, send love, send prayers, send whatever you believe to Ren. Just take a minute out of your time at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Let's do it collectively um, on October 31st. Poor kid's having some trouble and just really, really sick. So let's all take care of them as a group. All right. So let's jump in here and let's get into Chris Webby, Drugs in a Suitcase. This is going to, I can tell already this video has got to be absolutely insane if it's anything like the damn movie. And I want to know where he found those damn glasses. I want a pair. Well, not now, I guess. No, because now they look like uh, the guy who ate people. Mm, yeah. Nope. Okay. Sorry. I got that paraphernalia Riding off in the desert <laughs> Psychedelics on me I don't even know where I'm headed I got the drugs I got the drugs in the suitcase Anybody who's seen the two movies um, One of them was um, As the Buffalo Roam Bill Murray The other one with, with was, was with Um Johnny Depp. I mean, Hunter S. Thompson, that's what he carried. <clears throat> a suitcase filled with drugs. And that's what he carried 24 hours a day. Yeah, I got an ayahuasca shaman, Hunter S. Thompson, and Dr. Gonzo in the whip line. Drugs in a trunk, you need them, I got them. We to the speed, believe I got options. You don't got yours, it's cool, I got mine. Pockets always full of sunshine. <laughs> I got medicine from mescaline, etc. Shit, I got everything that you could even imagine. Mushroom eating in cabins, way out. Oh my god, the, the just. Alright, yeah, we're already getting insane. I love that they do behind the scenes, but still, the 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 bats. Oh, he was lose. He lost his mind. For those who don't know, I want to see if anybody knows. What did Johnny Depp do with Hunter S. Thompson's ashes? Put it in the chat. Put it in the the comments. I want to see who can answer that first. What did Hunter S. Thomp Where is Hunter S. Thompson's ashes? And I got medicine from mescaline, etc. Shit, I got everything that you could even imagine. Mushroom eating in cabins, way out <laughs> deep in the mountains. No one's even around us. Getting high, getting high, high, high. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I got that paraphernalia riding off in the desert. I love this video. This is hilarious. The only bad thing, you know, I wish I wish Chris Webby would have done, I'll be honest with you, is he needed to find the little piece for the cigarette because Hunter S. Thompson had his cigarette, had that little cigarette extender or whatever the hell it was. Um, but yeah, that would have been, that if he could have found it, it might have been too hard to find, but that would have been great to have that big piece. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm headed. I got the drugs. I got the drugs in the suitcase. I got the drugs. I got the drugs in the suitcase. 
excellently done video. This video, I mean, with all the, uh, I mean, with all the the mix and, and everything put into it i mean this is excellently done whoever did the editing and whoever did all the special effects bravo you did an awesome awesome job i got those micro doses macro doses i'm on a wave i got them mushroom caps <laughs> and acid with peyote for days i got the drugs in the luggage at the super <laughs> yeah. Yo, got my third eye wide open, acid high dosing with psilocybin inside of my potions. High by the beach up in the sky floating, clouds in my reach, seeing birds are coasting. Whoa, where the airlines taking off, put your seat in the upright position. We gone when the <laughs> I mean, dear God, the list of drugs that he's doing. Oh my, if you did this, the psychosis would be just off the chain. Actually, example. Hunter S. Thompson, you know, uh, yeah, his uh, his psychosis were way out there for his entire life. I do wonder if, whatever happened to his uh, lawyer, you know, or if he was even real. The drugs hit, hit, recline, and get launched to infinity and beyond. I got that paraphernalia riding off in the desert, psychedelics on me. Who did this video? Awesome work. That's cool. I got that boost up in my aura and I'm feeling myself strung out in a dirty motel. Got them psychedelic. Remember, if you want to feel better after that quantity of drugs, you need a big knife and a big orange. No, it wasn't an orange. What was it? No, I think it was an orange that he was cutting. Yeah. And, yeah. And then pouring alcohol into the orange and drinking it. Mm -hmm. Grapefruit. That's what it was. It was a grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. God, I love it. I got the drugs. I got the drugs in a suitcase. <laughs> I absolutely love it. That was that is so reminds me of the the not so good, but the old days. I mean, the the especially when it came to all the hallucinogens. Good lord, that's what friends and I used to do. Back in high school, and then we'd go to art class and oil paintings and stuff like that. It ended up being a lot interesting shit, you know. You know, drop acid, go back to class, and get into art class. That was fun. <laughs> but with that, is definitely time to go, and we will see you in the morning. But you have a great afternoon. Bye bye.